Hello, David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. We are bringing you something we haven't talked about in a while, the frugal Bond look. And we're revisiting an old friend, the Solden outfit, the outfit from Spectre that Bond wears when he goes to the Hoffler Clinic. He's in the plane ride. He meets uh, Madeline for the first time. He does that quick interview. Then there's that adventure scene. He wears it quite a bit. And so, so many of us have gathered ourselves around this look. It's a great look for the winter. There are some aspects of it that are a little bit avant-garde that we're going to talk about today. But today we bring you something from Daniel Love, Royal Filmware. You know him so well. We've done a million vlogs on him. And he is a fan, fan first, who really tries to bring these frugal moments so we can all capture this Bond experience of the Solden jacket, the Solden pants that I'm now wearing. And by the way, I'm wearing a v-neck gray t-shirt i'm only doing this i'm not wearing the end peel uh blue which i should be wearing because i want to show you the contrast of all the different colors we're going to talk about fit we're going to talk about sizing we're going to talk about feel remember the four f's we're going to be talking about all that and we're starting with the pants so let's take a look right now i am wearing the pants now these are the ones that daniel love made you're going to notice right now i believe that it is a deep deep navy that's exactly correct um check out the pleats and the pockets uh, so danielle's going to get this kind of look right here because number one this is a hundred percent wool guy did not scrimp at all it's a hundred percent wool so it lays very flat i'm telling you i pulled this right out of the box and it was squished um this is this is actually how they come they come like all together like in this bag and I gave it a little bit of steam not even an iron and they were they were like this so um, I want to show you something right off the bat silhouette okay the originals do not have this silhouette they are much baggier um, there's a lot of things that Daniel Love did to create what I call an artist uh, interpretation of these sold in pants first of all the sold in pants and you've seen my review of them they were not the most practical things. The, the rise right here was very low. It was almost, I, I joked about it, it almost looked like... Stop. Hammer time. Um, these are much higher. They look more like everyday wear pants. They still are a little bit avant-garde. I mean, I wouldn't normally wear something this baggy, but quite frankly, the way they drape um, makes it very... Well, quite a bit slimmer. So you could actually wear this every day with a dresser. It doesn't look so strange. Um, one of the things that we're going to show you are the details, and that's going to help to really educate you. But I've got my cheat sheet here, okay? I want you to listen about these pants. This is really, really important. All right. Um, this is Daniel Love's own words. We reduce the ratio between the overall fit and the waistband. So the waist that fits correctly would be slightly slimmer through the rest of the pants. So I'm wearing a size 30, which is interesting because I'm vastly between a 31-ish. Um, but the 30s fit great. They're not like, but um, they're also not making them fall down. Uh, one of the things that he did, though, was he kept that kind of like a little bit slimmer than the original ones that tended to balloon out. But remember, the original ones were based on military trousers, so it had to have that type of look. We also reduced the front and back rise by about an inch. So you can see that a little bit. Um, again, it, it used to sag down the originals. This one does not. And as the front and back rise of the originals did seem extremely deep, this was a great compromise. So based on the originals, um, they kept, uh, they also added a couple of inches to the length. Now, I'm gonna show you the bottom of this pants very shortly, but the boot is also a frugal bond boot. This is called Faded Glory. They're about $45, but sure enough, they look like the Danners. This is all about the frugal bond. I have them obviously tucked in. The length on these were pretty long. And Danielle Love did this specifically for you tall guys out there that say, my pants are too short. You're not going to find them too short. In fact, I'm going to have to have these tailored. That's why you see it bunching up a little bit at the bottom. Um, it'll have that nice, sleek, uh, movie look to it once it is hemmed. Um, so, really happy with the trousers overall. He sent me a 28 and a 30 because he wasn't sure. These waistbands are a little bit more forgiving than I even expected, but 
this is how it comes. So you can see, I don't know if you've ever seen how these things come. They're uh, hermetically sealed because you don't want germs. Yeah, I just choked the dolphin. Okay, so um, take that scrap, move it over, yada yada. All right, so let's take a look at these pants. So if we come in a little bit, you're going to notice the button work. The button work here is absolutely beautiful. You can see the rows of buttons here. Um, we're going to open the inside and you see that all the latches and the details are there. Um, what I loved about this is he also put in the buttons for suspenders that Bond wears. And if I flip this over, you're going to see those really cool, very unique military-like belt loops that I've talked about. Uh, here, now that I've, I've kind of showed this to you on a plane, you can really see the details of the pocket so much better. And, and again, beautifully sewn. The wool is sumptuous. Here's that back pocket with the zip. Incredibly handy. If I was to ski in these, which, I don't know, maybe, you know, you'll never see, you never know where I'm going to be going. Um, great to hold keys, etc., accessories. You've got that back loop, and then again, another zip pocket. But check this out. Let's go down all the way to the bottom. And again, these are right out of, these are right out of the package, and it, they're not that wrinkled. That's wool for you. All right. Here's the bottom. All right. Here's that, you know, gussetted, uh, you know, band at the bottom. Here are the two straps that go around your feet to make sure it doesn't fall out of the boot. And again, really, really nice at the bottom, giving you that, that look. And so imagine, if you will, that going to your tailor, these may be a little bit long on you, so you would have to maybe have them hemmed. But for you tall guys, you are going to be in heaven. So let's pull back a little bit for a second. Um, what I, what I loved about this is, again, you know, frugal bond pants. But one of the things that uh, Daniel felt really passionate about, because I think all of you feel passionate about this, is the pants had to be a little bit more everyday wear. I mean, think about it. Remember all the conversation? So many conversations. I had to ask it of myself. David, would you wear the originals in everyday life? The answer was no. It almost felt like costuming. These feel definitely more palatable. But, this is to talk about the Frugal Bond sold in outfit, so we're going to take a little bit of a walk. Let's take a walk now. So now we got to try on the jacket, and Daniel, he sent me two sizes. He sent me a medium and a large. So I'm going to try on the medium. Now, uh, I'll tell you, you've got to be really, really very conscious of the sizing itself. First of all, we'll show you the interior real quick. Very simple. You've got pockets on, on one side, which is very handy. Uh, let me just try this on, because we are going to talk about fit. And it's something we want you to be very conscious on. And by the way, this is the first time I'm trying on the jacket with the pants. And again, I've got those frugal boots on. So I'm keeping it an entirely frugal outfit. All right, here we go. And I'm zipping. Now, couple of things right off the bat. The medium is snug. The medium is snug on me, which is unusual for um, a, a Daniel Love piece. Uh, one of the things that I noticed when I did try on the medium is the arms are very slim. Now, I like that. I like a, a slim arm. Uh, you know, Bond's look was slim, so I appreciate that. But overall, if you could take a look at the fit, the medium is a slim. It's very slim in the back. It's slim in the front. It does really look very cool with the pants, but you're going to notice that the length on this is a little bit longer than the other ones. Now again, you tall guys are going to love that. I still like it. I think it hits at the right level. It's not cropped or anything like that, but it's something to be conscious of. Let's take a look at the back. Okay. So here's the back medium, and again here's the side, and here's the front. Now, let me show you the large, and again this is all things that you want to think about. While I'm trying on the large, let me tell you 
what this is made of. It's important to do that because there are some changes with this jacket. First of all, um, extra insulation was put into the front padding. It's very important. This will keep you warmer, which is very cool. I think that's a nice technique. And by the way, again, this is an artist's um, rendition or interpretation of the original because one of the things that Daniel did was he actually made it more screen accurate. How did he do that? Well, first of all, he um, he made the zippers the right length. So the original ones have shorter zippers. This is movie length zippers. That's really important for you. Okay, I'm wearing a large now. If I look at myself in the mirror, let me make sure everything's kind of kosher. Um, I actually like the large fit better. What do you think, Danielle? Large or medium? Yeah, the large is better. The large is better. It's not puckering here. Um, I think the back is a little bit more forgiving, both in the lower back and even the upper back. Uh, I feel like there's still give, but it, it has that kind of sleekness. I didn't lose the sleekness by going large, but what I gained was a little bit more room here and a little bit more room here, so it doesn't look like I'm sausaged out. So what am I keeping? I'm going to keep the large. I mean, that's, that's the one I'm going to gravitate to. Um, one of the things that we want to do, though, is we want to show you some of the details. So I'm going to come in a little bit, but take a look at the zipper. You've got that really cool leatherette uh, look to the zipper, which I really like. You still have that nice striation. This is made up of a wool and a nylon. Now, what does that mean? So it, it's got mostly wool, uh, some nylon. What that does basically is it avoids pilling. Uh, so you, if you want to wear this in action oriented, it gives you a nice give. It's still very soft. So, you know, people kind of question, oh, when you go put a little ray on it, does it get a little unwieldy? No, it's still very soft. It doesn't feel itchy at all. It's almost been combed in certain areas. You see the details there. You've got that really great midnight navy meeting the gray. So all that gradient is there. He also has made the, um, the I guess you would call this, what would you call this, quilting? Quilting mm -hmm. area? Okay. Uh, and then that would be, that's also very screen accurate. So you've got all those and then you've got the wrists that are nice and tight because let's face it, this is going to be used uh, not when it's 77 degrees out like it is now, hello, but obviously when, uh, when it's cold. So you don't want cold to be leaking in there. Now, let's walk over here and visit our friend Daniel. Now it might get a little dark here, I apologize, but if you come in close, uh, Daniel, thank you Daniel, creepy, uh, is wearing the Mr. White outfit. So we've got the NPL sweater, we've got a uh, Royal Filmware jacket, we've got some look-alike pants. The gloves are the right gloves. However, this is Frugal Bond. So if you don't have the Agnelli gloves, you can actually get almost the same exact gloves uh, at H&M. So it was last season, but you can still find them on eBay. I've actually seen them on eBay now. So you quick button people, if you run to eBay, you can still get those gloves to complete the whole outfit. So um, we always talk about kind of like an overall review of these things. I love this. I mean, I, I, this is actually something I would wear. Uh, the, the pants have now been what I like to call inspired and modernized for every day. They're extremely soft. The wool is incredibly combed and very relaxing. It is, uh, would I wear them with these boots? Maybe not, maybe not. I mean, this, this feels like cosplay. This feels like I'm costuming as James Bond from the sold and seen. So I, I mean, if I, if I was showing up to meet some friends for a Bond gathering and if I wanted to, you know, get a little laugh and, I probably wouldn't wear like the whole thing, but maybe parts and pieces of it. Uh, if I showed up like this, people would be like, hey, you're trying to be James Bond, ain't ya? So, um, but the jacket, I mean, you know, everything about this screams to me that I've got that essence. And that's what you want to do with the frugal Bond. The frugal Bond is not wearing an economy version of James Bond. It's capturing the look and the essence of Bond for those of us that, quite frankly, can't afford those other things, but you know, why should it just be for a certain group? 
Uh, it's really not. So I mean, I, I think that Daniels knocked it out of the park again. Again, I'm a huge fan of this. You do want to follow the sizing, but be very conscious to me of the jacket. So again, I'm doing large. On the sizing chart, it actually says 41. Would I have gone for a 41? I might have gone for the medium. And then I would have been like, oh, I'm going to have to break this thing in. So I would say for the jacket, you may actually want to size up, which is a really backwards thing for me to say, but it's one of those things you, you definitely want to be conscious of. Okay, so we've got the H&M gloves, we've got the Faded Glory shoes, which I think look bang on to the Danners and they're super comfortable. Um, you've got the, the, the pants that Daniel Love created, you've got the jacket. So by the time you're watching this, I believe it's going to be up on his website. We'll put his website up there obviously as usual. This has been one of these connection parts upcoming Throughout the year, we're actually going to be visiting everyday stores to bring you more Frugal Bond moments. We hope pretty soon we could start bringing you Bond 25 Frugal Bond moments as well because you never know what Bond's going to be wearing and maybe even some of the, the bad people in the film. So we'll bring you all that. But this has been another Frugal Bond. I know you all like them very much. I'm going to start peeling this out because it's 77 degrees out. Anyway, this has been David Zeritsky for the Bond experience, and we will see you very soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information, plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you, just because we know you. Talk to you soon.